everyone, welcome back to Art a la carte. Last week I released a video talking about my Redbubble shop and I got a lot of great feedback from you guys including questions that I didn't really cover in that video. So I'm going to tackle one of the more commonly asked questions. How do I get an actual digital copy of a traditional painted piece? In the Redbubble video, I had just done a digital art, so I already had the digital copy. But if you look at my Redbubble shop, you'll see that most of my artwork is traditional artwork. So to be able to take and create prints of your piece, you're going to need a really nice digital copy of your traditional piece. And that can be a little tricky. While I tell you about the steps I take in creating my digital copies, I will be just doing a time lapse of the editing process, um, just because it takes as you can tell, a long time to get it just right. Step number one is to actually get a photo or scan of your traditional piece. For a long time, I had a really low quality scanner and I just used it to scan in documents or things like that that I needed. If I used it to try to scan in artwork, the quality was really terrible. The color was never good. It was really grainy. It was not a good scanner for artwork. So for me, I used a really nice high quality camera. I would lay my picture out on a table and then stand over top of it and take about 20 or 30 pictures of it, go to my computer, and then hopefully get one that was clear. If not, would repeat the process. Some things that you're going to want to look for is that you use diffused light. You're going to want to make sure that when you set up your piece to take a picture of it, that you don't have any direct light coming so that you're having a cast shadow of your hand. And so that can be kind of tricky. I had to do it during the daylight hours but I had to make sure that the sun wasn't coming into my studio at the time, so I had to pick and choose when I would photograph my pieces. Depending on the quality of your camera will really determine the quality of your piece, so that's going to take into consideration. If you don't have a high quality camera, this option might not be the best for you. I have since switched to a scanner, which I'll talk about in just a second, but the main reason that I did switch from that is even though I had a really nice quality camera, I couldn't get a super high resolution. I could take a picture and could get a piece that had a good enough resolution that I could print a small poster. But if I wanted to do a large poster or a super large print or get my piece printed on something, you know, larger than an 11 by 17, it was beginning to break down. I didn't want, I didn't want the quality to be compromised. So I went ahead and purchased a scanner. I did a little research on scanners and you're gonna find that every artist has their own preference of what scanners they like and which ones they don't like. Um, so it's, it's gonna take a little bit of research on your part. I Googled top scanners for artists and just read through review after review after review. I would talk to artists that I like and ask them what scanner they used what I found from my research was that the scanners made by Canon were generally the more popular among artists. So I went and did some research on the top Canon brands. And so after reading tons of those reviews, I finally purchased a Canon scanner, which if you're interested in all the specs for that, I'll leave a link to where I purchased it in the description box below. You can check that out. So with scanners, your artwork may be larger than the actual scanner bed, and you'll have to scan it in multiple scans, which if you'd like a video on that, let me know in the comment section below, and I will create a video where I show you how do you scan two different images and merge them together. For this piece here, it is a smaller piece, so it's able to fit right on the scanning bed. So I scanned it into my computer. Now I know you guys are going to ask what settings do I use and all of that. Um, and I can't really tell you. For one, I just got this scanner maybe a month ago, so I'm still working out the scanning settings for myself. And two, I'm finding that with every single artwork, the scanning settings are going to be different. The one thing I will tell you to look for is to put it on a really high resolution and bump that up. It's usually defaulted at a medium setting, somewhere around 100 to 300 is the default. I've set mine at least at 600, sometimes higher than that if I can. After you get the scan in, you're still going to notice that your scan really doesn't look a lot like your original piece. This is when you're going to want to have a good photo editing software to be able to work with the different levels. There are a ton of different software out there, some really expensive, some not so expensive. I have used Photoshop for 
a long time and because I've had to invest in that software I've not really tried out other photo editing softwares out there so I can't really give you a lot of options as to different ones that you can use I just use what I got so I have Photoshop and with adjusting the levels I can't give you a set recipe for you know set this level to here here and here and you'll get the perfect picture because again with each piece it's going to be different and as you can see I am going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth with all of these different settings to try to get it to match as closely as I can I never can quite get it exactly the same I can get it close some of the tricks I'll have, if I have a dark border like in this dragon piece, I may put a mask over top of that, really black that in. What I would recommend is to double save. Save an original copy of your scan and then have the copy that you test on because there might come to a point in it that you totally messed it up and you can't edit undo anymore and you'll need to start back from scratch. I've done that a gazillion times. Another question that I get is how do I know if a printer is going to print off my image in the tones and colors that I want and really a lot of that depends on the image that you send them. There are times that I've gone to different printing companies and if they're kind of a cheaper printing company the quality is not that great but a lot of times it has to do with the quality of my scan. Really putting that time and effort to make sure that you have the quality digital image that you want is worth it. And I can tell you from personal experience that I have sent off images to my print company and had them return and went, what? This is horrible looking. There's a huge oh, a gradient shadow on this. And I run back to my digital copy and I look. And sometimes things that I don't see in a digital copy, you can see in a printed copy. And when I looked back at my digital copy, there is a cast shadow across the digital copy that I just really didn't pick up or that the colors didn't really pull through as much as I thought they had, but when I now look at it, yeah, they are off. Making a digital copy of your original piece can be a pain, but as you can see, here's the original scan that I did, and here is my finished digital copy, and you can definitely see the difference in quality and how the colors are really popping. This was one of the more challenging pieces that I have done, just because I had such a wide variety of contrasts, and I wanted them all. Usually you can have either the really nice darks popping out or the really rich colors popping out or the bright whites popping out. But it is challenging to get all three of those out. I have received a lot of requests about how to set up an Etsy shop and some of the marketing strategies that I have. I am planning on making both of those videos, but I'd like to know what you guys would like to see first. So I've created a poll. Let me know. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with me today. If you're brand new, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And as always, God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.